Welcome to WordPress from scratch part 3 from Novella. In this part, we'll go over WordPress's main function, which is the loop. This is used for pulling in our content for our posts and pages. We'll also go over um, a, just installing a simple plugin. This one will be custom field template, which we'll use to bring in a thumbnail for our posts. Now the first thing we're going to do is insert the loop, which I mentioned just briefly before and the loop will actually let us duplicate up a set of code depending on how many posts we have and uh, various different other things so this is the start of the loop here this is the end of the loop um, I've got this here and this just allows us to edit um, our posts on the fly without going into the admin area but I'm actually just going to delete that because we don't need that for the moment I'm going to take the end of the loop and wrap it around the bit that we want to duplicate. So here you can see this is the bit that we want to duplicate and we've got the start of our loop at the top here and then the bottom of our loop down here nicely wrapped around our post. So this now, is, this now allows us to start putting in some dynamic content. So you see here we've got the 24th of the 8th and 9th. This is the date that appears here we're actually going to change it so it brings in this date of our post so I'm just going to remove the 24 and add in another kind of template tag but these can only be used um, inside the inside the loop so here we've got our day which basically uses a function called the time I'm also going to echo it and it passes arguments just like the PHP function date would so I'm going to do the same for the month. So there we go. And I'm going to do the same for the year. So this should now bring the content in from our first post. There we go. 14th of the 7th, 09. 14th of the 7th, 09. So the next thing we're going to do is bringing our title and at the moment that's hello world so let's go back to our page and I'm going to delete the static content we've got in here and just write a function which brings in the title and this is called the title there we go there's our hello world I'm actually just going to change this just with a bit of lorem I'm just going to quick edit our post uh, change its title and just update that. Right, let's just refresh our page and there we go. Right, the next thing we're going to do is change the post to buy link. Now what this does it'll insert a link to the author and when you click it it will give you all the posts by that author. So I'm just going to remove my A tag I've got in here which links to novella and I'm going to insert where is it hiding around we've got it in here somewhere our author link so the author post link will then display the author's public name you can see here at the bottom of the screen it now gives us a link to our section so there we go there's one of our posts that we've made um, and you can change uh, the name that displays here by the public name under our user profile so you can see here I can choose admin or novella so I'll just change it to admin just so you can see the change and there you go admin now appears in there I'm just gonna change it back so admin it doesn't look too great. I'll just come back to our post screen. Right, the next thing I do is put in our category. So this again, it'll link to an archive page like our author post link does, but instead of just bringing up posts uh, by me, it will bring up um, posts that are assigned to that category. So I'm going to delete uh, that out, and I'm just going to put in another function which will d display the category. 
go, you can see our post is actually in the uncategorized category. So if I click that, it will give us an archive of all the posts in uncategorized. And I'm actually just going to add a new category, just so it's not in the uncategorized. So if we go to our category section, I'm just going to add a new one and call it life and things. I'm just going to give it a slug. And these are good for um, SEO purposes. So make sure you put a good slug in that's relevant to your post or posts. There we go. And there's our category appeared in there. I'm going to go back and just quick edit my post and stick it in the life and things categories. Just refresh our page. And there we go. And there's life and things. See there? And we've got our permanent setup. So it goes category and then the category name. So the next thing we're going to do is the excerpt. Now at the moment our post doesn't have an excerpt, it's only got some content. But I'll show you um, a neat trick that WordPress has. So I'm just going to delete our, our static excerpt in here. And put in the excerpt function. Now remember our post doesn't at the moment have an excerpt, so it actually brings in part of the content. I mean you can't see its um its full functions at the moment, so let's just copy that chunk and let's put it um just under that line. Right, and as you can see here, it just puts these brackets in dot 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 which would lead you to click the more button. So it takes the first few lines of your content if you don't have an excerpt. But what we can do, we can add an optional handcrafted summary, which is our excerpt. So let's just take our top few lines. I mean, you would handcraft this more than I'm doing at the moment, but um, we'll just use this for now. So let's update that. And we should get our excerpt here appearing there when I give it a refresh and there we go there's our excerpt being pulled in now the next thing is to add uh, links to our posts so I think I'm just going to add one uh, around the title so I'm just going to put in uh, an a tag around our title and then I'm going to use the function the permalink. So let's flick back. And there you go. If we hover over and then click, it links directly to our post. And there's our full content and our first comment. And we're going to style this page up in a later part. So we also want this link around our more button down here. So let's just copy that and put it around our image Let's just close the 8 and there we go, our now more button links to our full entry um, the only thing really left here is to add our share buttons in I won't do each one but I can provide the code if you need uh, things for delicious and uh, Facebook and dig and Twitter and we're actually just going to do the dig one so let's find our dig. So post the dig. I'm actually going to put post to. I'm going to use a function called uh, the title attribute. So this will just give um, our hover over link just a bit more interest in what the user actually wants to do. So let me just show you that. And it will say post and then our post title. Oh, it just needs post that probably wants to go the other side doesn't really help being there so it'll say post then our post title to dig um, inside here um, I've saved a dig URL which queries dig um, so your link will normally come after here and normally most people will put this in manually manually but we're actually gonna 
um, use the permalink function. So this goes on the end of our dig link. Let's just save that. And um, it's probably good as well if we just um, put it in a new window. So let's just give our target an underscore blank. Click our dig link, and you can see in the bottom that it's actually generated our link. And there we go, it's submitting our link to dig. And obviously, we don't really want to. Um, dig that at the moment. Right, so that's just about it. That's covered our loop. We've got our title, we've got our date, we've got our links to our profile, we've got our category, our excerpt, we've got our permalinks down here, and we've got our first bit of social. And I think the next thing we need to do is actually, I'm just going to add a new post just so you can see um, it all working. So let's add a new post. Let's call it um, our second post title. Um, some content in here, and this is our second excerpt. And I'm also going to put this in the life and things categories. Go back to our posts. We should see we've got two posts in there now. Let's refresh that, and there we go. It's now actually duplicated up um, our post. We can see here it's a bit it's a bit tight, so we could put um, uh, some extra code in just so it bumps that next bit down. Um, I think I'll leave that for now. We'll come back to that later on just to sort that out. Um, so the next thing to do at the moment is just pulling an, imi an image from our code. So let's get our our plugin. So you can find the plugins under the extend part of the wordpress.org website and I've actually just downloaded it um, down here so what we need to do is find our site and we just need to go into the WP content and then plugins there you go, we've got our Akismet plugin and our Hello plugin in there. I'm just going to drag custom field template out of my downloads into here. Right, we can close that down. And then we can go back to our admin area. And just going to access the plugins. And there we go, here's our custom field template. I'm actually just going to activate that. Right, if we now go back to our post screen, you'll see here's our temp here's our plugin. Now this plugin allows you to add different fields. Um, so you can use um, these bits of information elsewhere on your post. And I'm actually going to use um, this tiny MCE bit just to bring in our thumbnail. So I'm just going to amend um, some of the plugin um, preferences under settings. So the only thing that I need is this image here, or this image area, should I say. So I'm just going to leave this, and I'm going to call this thumbnail. And the rest of that can stay as it is. And our thumbnail, um, we'll need this later on, but I'll mention that in a second. So I'm just going to update the options. And let's go back to our post. So here we go, here is our thumbnail field. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is, I think we, we're going to, let's actually, let's make a new image. So our image is currently saved inside our theme folder. Here it is. So our images want to be set to 460 by two three five so let's take a a screenshot of this uh, lovely leopard sitting on my uh, desktop um, I don't think 
Uh, let me just double check that size again. 460 by 235. There we go, that was probably <laughs> not as quick as um, trying to open Photoshop. Right, so now I'm going to upload our thumbnail. There's a screenshot of our leopard. And there we go, I just grabbed his ear. I'm going to insert the full size into here. Right, there we go. Let's update the post. And what this plugin does, it actually generates a custom field. You can see down here, our custom field is called thumbnail. And that was the uh, the uh, setting that we set inside our custom field um, template. So let me just show you where that is quickly. That's that thumbnail word there. And then you can see there, the thumbnail. So this generates this bit of code, and this bit of code is from this box here. So let's just update that again just to make sure. Right, and at the moment, obviously, nothing's going to appear. So we're actually going to use um, a function in WordPress to uh, bring in our, our custom field. So here's our custom field function, get post meta, and our custom field was called thumbnail. And I'm actually just going to put this into a value called thumbnail, just so I can use this um, anywhere else that I might want to. And then I'm going to get rid of uh, this here. And then just echo our thumbnail in here. So our thumbnail here is then being echoed down there. And we should see it appear on our second post. There we go. As you can see, we've lost our image from here. And we've just lost a bit of form. And so let me just put that back in. So let's just give it a class. Um, I think we can give it post thumb. We'll update the post. And there we go. That's just wrapped it in a box. Um, let's do. Uh, let's do another one. Um, I'd probably do it in Photoshop this time. It's probably a bit quicker <laughs> than me trying to guess with a screenshot. Yep, sorry about that one. So let's go 460, 235. And let's just, uh, let's just give it a gradient overlay just so we can see it all working. Right, let's save that. Just stick it on the desktop. Let's go back to our uh, admin area. And let's open our second post up. 
and then inside our thumbnail custom field there's our gradient insert it into the post update it and there we go uh, it's probably best um, if I actually add a div around these images rather than manually uh, adding each class to it but we'll just um, do it quickly now so post thumb so there we go so that just a for the moment um, so we've put in things like our title and our author links, um, we've got our excerpts and we've started off putting in some share URLs and uh, covered the permalink function. So that's all for part three. Um, tune in for part four when we'll start diving into more WordPress. Thanks for listening.